Hey, superstars, give me all your Alvaro Espinosa baseball cards. Don't be alarmed. It's just me. It's time for my spooky October recap video. I'm not sure why it's spooky, but uh, anyway, I've got care packages. I've got purchases and I've got some exciting channel announcements. So let's do it to it. Before we get to the care packages, I've got a shuffle trade. I blind traded my Dane George drawing and a sign card for, let's see, nice, Les Lancaster. So thanks to whoever traded with me. I put in another sweet trade this month, so we'll see what I get back. This was in the mail. I don't know who it's from or what it is. It's not my envelope. Ooh, it's from Dustin and Blake. What? That is so rad. Yes, thanks guys. I love it. The small island nation of Carltopia has been missing in action, but he sent me a care package to let me know he was okay. Nice. Looks like the 1975 SSPC Cleveland Indians team set. I don't have many of these. Let's see. We got Team Fossey. See that, Shannon? These photos are awesome. Buddy Bell, Rico Cardi. There's Rick Manning. This is one of my favorite uniforms, the red jerseys with the caveman C. Boog Powell, Oscar, and his marvelous fro. And this one is, wait a minute, that's not Richard Eugene Manning. The boys over at SSPC done got this one wrong. That's Rick Manning, says Dwayne Kuyper. That certainly is a caper. See what I did there? Tommy Smith's got a mouthful of big league chew. These cards are awesome, Carl. Thanks so much, man. Your favorite leprechaun and mine sent me a wee little package. Let's see what kind of gold is in here. Awesome. I love getting signed customs from other YouTubers. Looking good, Jake. Oh, nice. Francisco Mejia autograph. I was looking over my spreadsheet the other day, and I noticed I did not have his autograph, so this is much appreciated. And a very lovely note on the Irish green paper. If I knew how to read, I'd tell you all what it says. Thanks, Jake. Tony Black, he texted me the other day and he says, yo, you got this card? And I says, no, and he sends it to me. It was an offer I couldn't refuse. Now I'm People Magazine, Sexiest Man Alive, 1985, moving up in the world. We got some Stadium Club Browns cards. Bernie, Clay Matthews, sweet. This one is the one Tony texted me about, Mr. Smile at the Dentist. I love it. Ooh, Lenny, Larry, and some 1970 Tops TTM fuel. Awesome. I got to get to work on those. Uh, thanks, Tony. Here's what I bought this month. I got a 1941 Playball Raleigh Hemsley. I think there's four Indians in this team set, so I'm halfway done with that one. Really nice looking cards. The Al Rosen collection is getting bigger with this 1955 Tops. I really like ballpoint pen on vintage cards. Uh, here's an 81 Fleer sticker showing the 54 All-Star game at Old Municipal Stadium. And this old photograph, that is a very cool piece. Um, and I got Al Burt Bell. 2014 Tops Tribute. I got a nice price, so I'm happy to add that one. The Don Mossy PC grows. Here's a dreamy photograph. Uh, there's no markings on it, and I didn't see it anywhere on the trading card database. So that one's pretty neat. Pacific Legends. And a 56 Tops, again with the cool ballpoint pen. And I won this 58 slab. No autograph on that one, but it was $1. How does any self-respecting Don Mossy fan pass that up? And what's a recap video without some amazing Alvaro cards? You saw the autograph earlier, but here's a PSA 9 Topps Tiffany Rookie. One of only two graded, I think. Uh, last I checked, there weren't any 10s. And I'm nuts, but I'm not nuts enough to start sending a bunch of Alvaro rookies in for grading. It's either time for a rectal exam, or I'm trying to be responsible with my collection. For my birthday last month, my in-laws gave me a gift certificate to my favorite LCS Triple Play Vintage, which I used to pick up these autographed baseballs. Here's Jason Kipnis, inscribed Dirt Bag. Love that. Got Tommy John and Burt Blylevin. And here's Boog Powell. And Indians great Ralph Kiner. I'm not sure why he signed it on a National League ball, but I'm thrilled to add these to my wall of balls. 
three quick things that I'll let you go watch more entertaining videos than this one. I want to give a shout out to Dan from Mets Rule. He has just started a project in my honor called Where's Alvero, where Alvero Espinosa cards are making the rounds through the mail with other YouTubers. So far, it has gone from Dan to Flying Dutchman cards, then to Eddie's Baseball Autographs. Um, it's been really fun to watch the progress, and I'm very amused and very honored. So look for that, and thanks, Dan. Second, last year, a baseball collector tried to do No Card November, where you vow not to buy any cards for the entire month. He failed. He claims he didn't, but he totally cheated, and he bought some Derek Jeter rookies or something. Uh, I tried myself, and I succeeded. Now, I'm not saying I'm better than Mike or anything. I'm just saying I actually kind of like the break, and... Uh, it was kind of nice saving the money and just taking a little step back for a bit. So I'm going to do it again this November. So wish me luck. And lastly, a lot of you have been asking, 118 Degrees of Separation is coming back. Drum roll. Drum roll. Oh, uh... On Friday, if you've never played, it is a lot of fun. And if you have played... Please lie to the people who haven't played and tell them that it's a lot of fun. Um, I'll leave a link right there to season one. And that's it. So check out shuffletrades.com. Thanks to Dustin and Blake, Carl Topia, Jake the Ticket Leprechaun, Tony Black, and thanks again to Mets Rule. Congrats to all my Dodger friends and sorry to all my Rays fans. So I hope to see you Friday.